Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 87. It's me, your boy Waddles. I'm geared up. I'm ready for today's episode. So, uh, at the end of the last episode, I talked about a big project, maybe kind of starting today. Guess what? Change of plans? We're not going to do that. I almost forgot about Minecraft 1.16 point... I, I think it'll be point two. As of the recording of this video, it wasn't really exactly announced quite yet, but I'm assuming it'll be Minecraft 1.16.2. We're currently actually at 1.16.1. 1.16.1 dropped right after 1.16, and it was a really, really minor update. I updated the world, didn't really talk about it. 1.16.2 though, ooh, that's not the case here. 1.16.2 will be adding the brand new Piglin Brute Mob, and that's gonna make raiding Bastions a whole lot more difficult. Today, we're actually gonna slide over to the nether and check out a bastion that we found a couple episodes ago and raid it stealth style i honestly think raiding a bastion stealth style might be almost impossible once piglin brutes are added into the game because those creatures they're absolutely brutal they just don't like you no matter what so today basically secret spy time and then after 1.16.2 drops we'll go back into a bastion and just basically raid the whole thing brute style supplies if you're trying to go stealth mode into a bastion you're gonna need these things right Right here you'll want a lever and a piston we're actually gonna try and use these things right here to relocate the gold blocks that are inside of the bastion more on that in a little bit though we'll be using TNT to pick those blocks up so we're gonna bring 16 or so we're gonna use a hopper to unload all of the chests inside of the bastion now unfortunately piglins don't like it if I open a shulker box they also don't like it if I open an ender chest so what does that mean well that means we're gonna need to keep all of our bastion rating supplies on us in our inventory and I've actually gone ahead and cleared out the inventory quite Quite a bit i don't know if we're gonna have a good chance to actually unload the loot that we find into a chest the big goal is stealth mode that means zero piglins angry at me and if we're trying to keep the piglins cool then that means no shulker boxes no chests so we're gonna have to keep everything that we need on us in our inventory and not place this boy down and get the shulker box out until we're absolutely sure that the coast is clear piglins don't have to see you opening a chest if they hear you opening a chest they're gonna get mad at you and it's gonna basically not be good if one piglin gets mad at us and we fight back then all of the other piglins are gonna be mad at us too and basically it's gonna be a big nightmare hey while we climb down this ladder this would be the perfect time to slide down below this video and hit that like button thank you very much Almost forgot, because I already have it on me, uh, gold armor. Definitely don't forget a piece of gold armor as well to keep the piglins cool, too. So, there we are in our nether fortress that maybe isn't really a nether fortress anymore. We've actually already located two separate bastions in this world. The goal today is to just take on one of those bastions, and then we'll come back to the other one after the 1.16.2 update. The bastion that I want to take on today is over near this crimson forest biome. Now, I'm not sure of the exact location, but I remember it being near a ruined portal. So if we can find the ruined portal, we should be able to find the bastion. I know it was sitting out in a lava ocean. I'm thinking that we probably, maybe, eh, probably <laughs> i'm thinking that we want to go this way is somewhat this way and get near the soul sand valley i think the soul sand valley is oh it's right there okay okay perfect now now that we're here uh the ruin portal was in the crimson forest so where do we go uh definitely not that way so let's go this way maybe this will be the way to go and I think that means we're probably going to want to get down from here, actually. We don't want to be way up there. I did take a screenshot of this thing with the coordinates, so if I have to, I could use that. But I'm going to see if I can try and find the thing off of memory. I'm thinking it's over that way. It's just, uh, how, how do I get over there? I can't remember. All right, let's see. This looks like the land bridge that I need, I think. M maybe? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I, I think it is. We're going to go this way. Now, while we walk over and try and find this thing, I'd like to talk about Netherite. I've seen a, quite a few questions about it. Of course, your boy definitely wants to get it. All of this stuff should be turned to Netherite. Oh, gas! Come on, calm down. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. I didn't want to do it to you. Good. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on? Goodbye, buddy. Of course, I want to get Netherite. It's really, really cool, but honestly i kind of want to check out the piglin stuff first it kind of almost interests me a little bit more than the netherite stuff netherite is really cool and all but once we get it that's uh, kind of that but the piglin stuff there's actually a lot to check out with those guys and did i really forget building blocks i i think i did uh this isn't going very well i don't recognize like any of this stuff at all we might have made a wrong turn 
Or maybe we just haven't gone far enough. Oh, wait, Hoglin, watch it, buddy. All right, so let's just keep running this way. We have a lava ocean now. That kind of looks correct, but we have the Hoglins on us, three of them. Buddies, you got to back up. Hoglins are so dangerous. Is that another one? No, that's a baby one. Okay, buddy, calm down. Okay. Thankfully, the Hoglins seem to give up pretty easily and forget what they're doing. Not very big brain. The baby, the child, just go away. Go away, buddy. Ah, the ruined portal. Perfect. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for, though. Or at least I think it is. Yes, it is. That bastion right there. That's the one that we want to loot. All right. I think the coast is clear. Let's open this up and actually throw some of this in here. I don't need it for looting this fortress. And then we're good. Now, this place looks really, really promising. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have a magma cube spawner inside of this one, which is a little bit of a bummer. I would love to find one of those and make a farm. But I do know that we should have some pretty good loot chests up there at the top of this thing and then some more inside of here. There also should be some gold blocks laying around this thing too so first we need to approach this thing and figure out how to get over to it i completely forgot building blocks so i think what we're gonna have to do is tear up some of this field and just build an annihilium bridge over there definitely not the safest thing in the world but it'll work also the hoglins in this area they're probably gonna have to be cleared out because there's quite a few of these guys and they're attacking me in a pack come on guys come on guys we're friends we're friends you see you see i didn't mean it child stop this honestly the baby hoglins are a little bit more annoying than the adult ones because they're small and they just charge you and ram you and they do like no damage at all you know i don't know they're kind of annoying but anyways i think we want to dig up a lot of this netherrack and the nylium in here and of course we have even more pork chop i guess it's cool i guess it's cool we can keep it on and eat it maybe i it's better than nothing buddy come on come on buddies you gotta you gotta stop it you gotta i'm busy here all right stack and a half definitely should be good that should be more than enough but you you're gonna have to like not mess with me while i'm making a bridge okay please you know what i don't want to do this but i have to take you guys out all right so i'm thinking that we could make a bridge pretty much from like right here over to that hole over there ish if we hit that back of the fortress we could just kind of dig a hallway now usually definitely don't do this with nylium i don't recommend it do this with like stone or cobblestone you know something that can't be blown up uh, if a gas spawns and shoots at you but i forgot those blocks so this is gonna have to work it's gonna be good we'll just need to be careful if we wanted to we could pull out some of this bastion over here and replace this with blackstone blackstone can't be blown up by gas and basalt actually can't be blown up by gas either so you do have some options if you come to the nether empty-handed but here we go we're inside of the bastion now now if we just make a little bit of a walking path over here we should be able to access that this spot yeah big, exactly perfect so this part of the bastion is kind of a gigantic maze navigating this thing is going to be a little bit tricky there's gilded blackstone in here which is cool but if we take this the piglins might get angry so i'm going to actually wait to take any of that stuff and maybe take it on our way out if you enter a bastion from this low area you have two options option number one follow these hallways and try and find the top part option number two just make a staircase case up to the top if you do a staircase eventually you're obviously going to hit the top of the bastion if you hit the top of the bastion you're golden that's where the chests usually are so here we go we're near the top now now these piglins are bunched up like crazy but we can actually walk right past them thanks to the gold armor but we want to be really really careful in here we don't want to anger any of these guys if possible place blocks instead of mine blocks if you mine blocks you technically have the chance to hit a piglin and if you hit one yep big problem right here the treasure room take a look at that already nice and easy and so far so good now when it comes to these loot chests again we have two options option number one just open the chest or break the chest but if we do that all of these piglins that are right down there and there's a lot of them they're gonna get mad at me now technically then i don't have a way up right now so i would be safe and i would be able to stand up here and take them out but we're going to the stealth mode so option number two dig out the blocks underneath the chest and place a hopper down then access the hopper and take the items out of the hopper now hopefully oh boy yes exactly that's what i was looking for wow soul speed three right off the the bat who is this thank you so so much minecraft you're amazing that's great this is one of the special things that we're looking for today in this bastion we're hoping to get soul speed which we already got we're hoping to get the pig step disc and the snout banner pattern one out of three down on that first chest that is amazing now right here what do we got here hopefully something good too uh 
Uh, ooh, Gilded Blackstone. Okay, okay. I like that. And arrows, too. That's cool. The nuggets. We could probably just throw those away. We don't really need those. A gold block. That's good. We're actually really, really low on gold. Spectral arrows, by the way. These things are really cool. Unfortunately, they don't work with our infinity bow. If we shoot this bow with spectral arrows in our inventory, they will actually consume the spectral arrows. But the spectral arrows will actually outline things when you hit those things. It's pretty cool. But soul to be too. That's amazing. Nice. And an iron ingot, too. And gold nuggets. Wow. This shot is like loaded with stuff i like that a lot but it looks like that's gonna be just about everything now unfortunately we have a problem here our inventory has filled up what do we do well first we combine our nylium not that big of a deal then a second here hmm Hmm, well, we can mine this, okay, okay. We could drop that on the ground for a second. We get our hopper back. What else do we not need? We don't really need string. We'll just throw that on the ground. But I have a theory, and I kind of would like to test it out. Let's say we're at the top of the bastion, kind of like we are, and our chest is filled up. Could we dig out a bunch of blocks and tower really far up just in the air randomly so you know if we go like up here we're getting pretty far away from the piglins i would think there would be no way they could hear me but to be safe we're gonna just kind of keep going if we go up into this spot maybe like maybe like here we're pretty far right we'll make a platform just in case i drop things but up here could we and we're gonna find out in a minute but could we place an ender chest down open it up grab our shulker box uh, mine some more blocks out, place the shulker box down, and load up all of the loot in here, and then go back into the bastion, and we're cool. All right, so the loot's in there. The soul speed is going to be safe no matter what. Now, we put it back in the ender chest, grab the ender chest, and now, uh, where did we come up from? This spot? Yeah, now we mine right back down into the bastion. Are the piglins going to be mad at me? I really hope not, because if they are, then the challenge has already failed. Um, piglins, how you doing? How you doing? Are you mad? Um, no, you're, you're cool with, oh, okay, it works, it works, awesome. All right, so that's how you can keep your loot nice and safe, but now we need to get through this mass of piglins and check out this part of the bastion. Now, over here, it looks like we have some hoglins, which is going to complicate things a little bit more. The hoglins are going to try and knock us off of the bastion, and the bastion, eh, you definitely could be knocked off of the thing. There's holes everywhere. They're really dangerous to navigate. Now, I'm trying to get down to the lower part of this thing, so I'm going to start by making a staircase right here, and we're going to actually turn right there. That's a little close to the lava. Uh, yeah, right here. This is what we're looking for. I think this is a bridge connecting the two parts of the bastion. This is one part, obviously. That's the other part. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to have any any chests inside of this piece over here so we might have to come back and check before we leave but this is what we want to see now now ooh, hey right off the bat a chest okay i like it i like it so you already know the trick we place a hopper right below this thing and we wait hopefully we get that pig step music disc or the banner pattern now while we wait let's go ahead and walk out here and see what we have i hear uh hoglins i think they're baby hoglins and another chest over there okay okay any gold blocks anywhere though I don't really see any. That's a little bit of a bummer, actually. Hmm. Hmm. I really wanted to test out my theory. All right, but over here, what do we have so far? We have a crossbow with quick charge three. That's cool. And a gold sword. Very nice. Ooh, crying obsidian. We might have enough crying obsidian for a uh, respawn anchor now. Wow. That's awesome. But what else? Anything else cool? So far, this stuff looks pretty plain. Uh, yeah, pretty plain chest. Other than the crying obsidian, kind of boring. But it's still good. Okay, so with that chest down, now we can check out this part of the bastion. This is where things get really dangerous. We're definitely going to want to keep our building blocks on hand. If you have access to a fire resistance potion, might be a good idea to bring one with you into the bastion. Because, uh, yeah, if you're over lava like this, that's going to be kind of freaky. <laughs> After this episode, my crouch key is probably just going to be stuck down. I'm, like, pushing it down so hard right now. I definitely don't want to fall into this lava. I think I'll toast up. This armor isn't very good against lava. No, I hear that hoglin. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in a little bit. And hoglin, where you at? Where you at? I think you're, like, right above me, right? Are you, like, right up here somewhere, buddy? Where you at? All right, we move carefully up, and there's another chest right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. We'll take that one out in a minute, but first the hoglin. Uh, it sounds so close. Uh, it must be, like, right up here. Hoglin, where are you? Let's see. Are you right up here? No. Uh, there's another chest over there, though. Okay. How about up here? Is this where you're at? <laughs> um, it sounds closer. Ah, there you are, boy. There you are, boy. I'm sorry. You gotta go, man. You are a bit of a problem. Goodbye. To the lava you go. 
Yeah, hoglins can't deal with fire, so if you send them into the lava, they're just gonna toast up. Uh, that's the best way to deal with them. But, hi, Piglin, how you doing? I'm not doing anything to the chest. Don't worry about it, man. Just, just, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anything good? Pig step, please. Give me that pig step disc. Looks like we have over a stack of arrows now, which is kind of cool, but I don't really need that many arrows. Hey, another gold block. That's nice. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, man, nothing good here. Okay, well, these arrows, a stack of these arrows, uh... We'll keep them on us, or no, we're full, okay. Well, the arrows, I'm sorry, but the arrows are going away. We had over a stack of arrows, just remember that. Now, next up, I think I want to move around the edge of this thing and try and get over to that chest. Then finally, we'll finish things off with that center chest. We have a walkway over there that'll make things easy. Now, technically, we could take the nether wart as well, but we do actually already have quite a bit of nether wart, so I'm not too worried about it. Hey, hey, speaking of chests, I found another one right over here. It was right next to the other one. So, hopper time. Uh, you see the last chest is right there. This one is right here. Super, super close. Hopefully, we'll get something cool this time. Yikes, never mind. Nothing too cool at all, actually. But we're gonna have to get rid of something. Blackstone staircase, you can go away. Hopper has to come with me, so what else do we get rid of? Uh, netherrack. We don't really need netherrack. And gold boots, we don't need those either. All right, so let's keep moving this way. We're getting pretty close to that other chest now, but I am hearing another hoglin. I'm not sure if the hoglin is going to be able to get us. I don't think it will, so I'm just going to kind of ignore that one. That might be a bad call, though. Uh, yikes, I heard it fall. Okay, okay, maybe terrible decision. We're just going to actually try and keep ignoring it, though, but I do see another hoglin over there. That one definitely can't be ignored. Oh, that was close, buddy. You gotta be careful here. All right, let's move over here and fill this in and check out this chest while those piglins are busy. We'll mine this out, place that down, and now we wait. Hoglin, what are you doing over here, man? What are you doing? Uh, you gotta go away. Goodbye. Oh, spectral arrow. I didn't want to do that, but hey, uh, that's cool. <laughs> that's what the spectral effect does, guys. All right, so what do we have? Pig step, please. Maybe no pig step again. Okay, all right. Not too lucky there. All right, so next up, we want to go downwards, and doing downwards is definitely making me nervous. We want to get over to that central chest. So far, so good, though. All of the piglins are cool with us still, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, uh, I think we can just kind of move right over here. That seems to be pretty good. Any hoglins near us? Um, there's one over there, but I think think for the most part we're good we got that chest we got the one over there we got the one over there we got that one this might this very well might be the final chest in this fortress so we mine these blocks out we put the hopper right here and e yikes we might not be able to get this hopper back um do we have a way to place blocks in here no we don't okay this hopper might be gone after this one uh gilded blackstone okay oh man no pig step a perfect crossbow though i'll take that now, seeing as I don't think there's a way to get this hopper back, we're just going to kind of leave it there because uh, otherwise it's just going to fall in the lava. We don't need the string either. So I think I want to say this bastion is clear, but do we have any gold blocks anywhere? I haven't seen a single one, which is kind of weird, kind of a bummer. All right, let's do this. We'll do a little bridge from this part of the fortress over to this one. Might be really dangerous, and then we'll be able to kind of walk around and look and see if there's any uh, gold blocks anywhere. I really wanted to show off the method. If not, though, we'll just show it off back at the base. Not that big of a deal. You just have to kind of imagine it, but uh, any gold blocks, like, anywhere? Hmm. Um, not seeing any. Ah, no gold blocks, but another loot chest. All right, so... Little problem, though. We lost our hopper, or we, we left it down there. But, thankfully, take a look at this. We have lots of wood, and we have plenty of iron. We can just make a new hopper. Uh, wait, I need a chest. Of course, of course. You didn't see the mistake. It never happened. We put a chest, we put iron hopper number two. No big deal. Now, what do we want to drop? Let's drop these gold boots. I don't really need those. I don't think I've gotten any loot from this chest quite yet. What do we have? Oh, yeah, definitely not. Oh, but was it even worth it? <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe for the spectral arrows. Those are kind of cool. All right, so it's basically just a bunch of spectral arrows and nothing else too cool. Hopper, that'll come back with us just in case, and I'm going to keep moving around this fortress and seeing if there's anything. I totally would have missed that chest. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. One gold block. That's all I really needed. Ah, that hoglin is a little too close, though, buddy. You, okay, piglins, come on, come on, come on, man. All right, you gotta go away, man. You are a problem. Definitely a big hazard. Goodbye. 
So, gold blocks. Inside of Bastions, you'll find loot chests and you'll find gold blocks. But the problem here, if I mine this gold block, the piglins are going to get mad at me. So, we're going to need to pick it up in a different way. A way that's a little bit more secretive. The way, this right here. Now, when you're doing the TNT method, you're going to want to be careful. Before actually igniting the TNT that you're going to place down next to the gold block, I recommend digging out the floor just a little bit and making sure you actually have a floor down there. We don't want to ignite this TNT and then have the gold block explode and drop into the lava. So, if we place that TNT right there and then we grab our bow that has flame, we can actually shoot that TNT and then back up. That should explode. The gold block should fall on the ground. And did we... Are the piglins mad at me because I hurt them? Um, They might be mad at me. <laughs> All right. So it worked. But there was a piglin nearby and it got hurt. You got to watch out for the piglins. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Or oh, wait a second. That might have been a false alarm. They seem to be cool with me. And it hasn't been that long at all. But there's a lot of... Okay. What is going on now? What is it? Oh, you're hunting. Okay, okay, cool. All right, so this is going to be a dangerous one. We have a gold block right above this block right there. What I'm thinking that we do is we place a TNT right there, then we're going to move far away, like way over here, and ignite that TNT, and basically hope that the piglins don't go near it. If they go near it, they're going to get hurt, and we could have a problem, but I think think we're gonna be okay yep they're mad at me they're mad at me all right all right well that's gonna be that for the bastion we need to get out of here well that's uh terrifying that's terrifying was it worth it no not really i didn't really need the gold block that bad but this piglin he's cool with me he's okay with me uh i like that piglin maybe they're all cool with me now um, <laughs> I'm not too sure what happened, uh, but that's how you get a gold block out of a bastion. Just got to make sure it doesn't fall into lava or uh, the explosion doesn't hurt a piglin, because if it does, then you're going to get in trouble. All right, but I think with that, Bastion pretty much cleared. I could take this Gilded Blackstone, but I think I'm actually just going to pass on it for now, leave it here. It's not worth the struggle of getting out of this place. So we're going to actually try and find our way out of this place. Now, I think we could just maybe, maybe we could just dig out the wall and make a bridge over to the land. That might be the best way to do this. If we want the Gilded Blackstone later, we could just come back for it. But honestly, 100% honest here, Gilded Blackstone, it's not really even that worth it at all. The stuff drops gold nuggets and gold nuggets only. You can't smell it up into gold ingots yeah it's just really not worth it in my opinion the only thing that gilded blackstone is really useful for is decorating maybe you're trying to make some kind of cool build with blackstone and you want some variation well gilded blackstone is your boy but there we go i think bash and raid relatively successful they got a little mad at me at the end it was scary but I mean, we made it out of there with all of the loot. So I'm going to try and make my way out of this forest, away from the piglins, place my ender chest down, you know, put the loot in a safe spot, and then get back over to the base. Uh, or, you know what? I could probably do it by just climbing on top of one of these trees. I think that would be pretty safe. I don't see any piglins near here. If we're quick, it should be good. Ender chest, boom. A shulker box, boom. Open the box, throw all the good stuff in it. Easy. Look at that. And here we are, back over at the Nether Fortress without any problems at all. I'd call that another mission success. And hey, um, uh, there's some wither skeletons in this fortress. Okay, okay, maybe it works still, and spawning is just really affected by that crimson forest biome that's right over here. It's interesting, but hey, it's okay. And hey, I think we literally just got a wither skull. I think we maybe got a wither skull, maybe, and one of these guys picked it up. Uh, yes, we did. No way, no way. Always take out the wither skeletons. Wow, that's a nice way to end this journey. That's amazing. Nice. This fortress is so P. Or this sword. It's, it's probably the sword. Back over at the base, let's check out the loot from that Bastion raid. Now, remember, we did get an extra stack of arrows, so add that into here. And then we also had, I think I dropped an extra maybe gold helmet and a pair of gold boots as well. So a little bit more than this, but this is actually going to be pretty much it. I accidentally mixed some extra blocks in here too, so I just, just ignore those. But the big thing, this one right here, Soul Speed 3. Let's see, how expensive is this? Can we put Soul Speed 3 on the O? Oh, we can put Soul Speed 3 on the Piglin 350s, but that is going to cost all of our levels. So obviously, 
I'm gonna do it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. It was worth it. Soul Speed or Soul Speed 3, what does it do? Well, Soul Sand right here, we move pretty slow, but we put these boots on the Piglin 350s and we move insanely fast. I think we could use this to make a really efficient hallway in the nether or really in the overworld too, but probably in the nether that would make a little bit more sense. But yeah, it's really cool. Now, the boots will lose a little bit of durability while we're moving on Soul Sand though, which is very bad, especially considering the fact that these are a pair of gold boots right here you can get soul speed from looting a bastion obviously or from bartering with a piglin if we could get a soul speed 3 book we could put them on a pair of diamond boots or even better netherite boots and then it would actually be really really good to have so it's on our gold boots now that's cool but we're just gonna have to pay attention to the durability we don't want to lose these boots now unfortunately i didn't get to show off the point of the piston and the lever why would you bring those into the bastion well, let's say this gold block is inside of a bastion and then it's just in a bad spot. Maybe there's a bunch of piglins around. Maybe we have lava underneath. Maybe we're just low on TNT or maybe, maybe there's two gold blocks right next to each other, but they're not like right next. Like we have one over here and maybe one over there. Well, if you want to move the gold blocks before breaking them without angering the piglins, place a piston next to it, lever on top, hit the lever, boom, you move the gold block. You break the piston, place it down again, do the same thing, and you can move the gold block around the bastion to wherever you want it to go before you break it or blow it up on a larger scale it's pretty tedious so ideally don't move it too far but if you have to move it a little bit this is the way to go piglins won't care if you do this at all but unfortunately uh we didn't have any good chance to show that one off they're still good to bring to bastions though and so that's how you rate a bastion in stealth and that is gonna be just about it for this episode of the minecraft guide if you enjoyed this one smash that like button hit that subscribe button as well bell too if you haven't yet drop a follow on my twitter for a bunch of memes and behind the scenes stuff big shout out to my patron ground crazy may thank you for the support thank you all for watching and goodbye everyone